go everyone um i wanted to show you the kit that i put together for a challenge that crystal b posted on the two peas refugees board um it's the march build your own kit challenge she and i were um talking and we really love the bash it challenge that she had posted i got so much use out of the 10 items that i pulled from her suggested list of five old five new and um so we were talking about other things and she thought about maybe doing a um challenge to make our own kit to use each month. So I wanted to show you the papers and items that I chose. I'm putting everything in my tray. This is the tray I bought for Journal Your Christmas a couple years back. And it has been brilliant for keeping my stuff together. I kept everything in the Bash It Challenge in my tray so I could move it on and off with relative ease. So here's what she suggests uh, to include in the kit. I'm starting with the paper. Um, the first thing is five to ten pieces of cardstock colors of your choice um i got a couple sheets of craft a sheet of smooth oil blue and then i went i'm kind of bending the rules i guess already um i went with a cardstock by bow bunny they're uh, double dot back to basic stuff um, but I went with the butter, what is that, buttercup, avocado, and flamingo. I've had these for forever, and I wanted something to include a little bit of pattern. I like pattern backgrounds for the best. Um, I've had this for, like I said, a, quite a long time, so I want to see if I using up. So I'm counting that as my cardstock. So I've got six card, uh, cardstock choices. Um, for patterns, the, she said 10 or more pieces of pattern paper, including the following. And the first one was a stripe. This is from Shamil's Star Starshine Collection. See if I can talk. And this is what actually inspired me for the entire kit. Um, craft, of course, goes with anything. But I thought that it worked relatively well with these colors. Um, the tones, you know, are slightly off a little bit. But I think with a lot of stuff going on the pages, it'll all work together. Um... I then realized when I was doing this, I had some stuff from another kit that I had pulled for one of Shamil's classes and I was putting it away and this was one of the pieces in there that was in one of the kits for that. And I thought this would work great for the small repeating pattern. There are bunches of cameras. So I could use this in strips. I can cut the little cameras out. I can do columns of it. Um, it's a white background as opposed to cream, but I tried to pull enough of both so I could use them together and make it look like a purposeful design choice instead of, oh yeah, I kind of forgot that was cream and everything else is white or vice versa. Uh, the next one is from a paper pad by Amy Tangerine. This is the bold pattern. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. I think it's lovely. I don't know what kit this or collection this is from. I cannot remember off the top of my head. Um, but this kind of pattern scares me a bit, but I know I could always fussy cut if I wanted to. And I think with other things, I think I can make this work even as a background or in large pieces. Um, the next thing on our list was a specialty paper, like vellum or foil glitter. Um, I have this vellum from Shamil from her second collection, um, uh, True Stories. It's the hearts, uh, and... I mean, it's still in the plastic. I've not used it at all. And if I buy it, I really do need to use it. And I thought color-wise, I mean, her collections all seem to work relatively well together. And this could work with, with just anything with the whole huge variety. And I can always fussy cut if I want. I can punch real easily from this. Uh, the next thing was a lid it, lidded. I swear I can talk. I'm getting over bronchitis, so I'm a little addled from cough medicine. Let's just blame that. Um, one lined or gridded pattern. Yeah, gridded. I read that correctly. Um, I was going through, when I realized how much white I had in my collection, I wanted to get something that was cream, and now I do this. It looks kind of gray, but I think it'll work. I can make it work. Um, but this is a ledger pattern. It's actually a piece of paper left from the October Afternoon Sidewalks collection. Uh, kick the can. I have to say, I have a ton and a half of old papers because I stopped scrapbooking for a few years and didn't pick back up until 2012. And then I kind of was only into Project Life for a few years. So I have so much old stuff. I'm not, I'm trying my best, unless it's Shamil, not to buy new things. I'm still debating on the little by little collection. Um, so after the line, even though it's not a full sheet, worried about that. I don't, wouldn't tend to use this as a full background anyways. Um, the next one is a wood grain pattern. Immediately I thought of this wood grain pattern um, from Bella Boulevard, Sunshine and Happiness. It is very big. 
It's also a different shade. This looks more corally next to this one. Uh, it's a warmer pink, but with, I'm trying to switch everything around here and do it behind. I think it would work with this. I think tone wise, it goes well with that. I don't even know if you can see it. I think it goes well with that. So I think I can get that to work. I really doubt I'd ever use the back of this, but I do love that side. Um, and I also found this, which is in the Here and Now collection from Echo Park, like the cameras. And this is the kind of, I love these kinds of wood greens with the real thin. This almost reminds me of zebra stripe, but with the circles, it's clearly wood green. Um, but I really did like this one. So I included both of them. And on the back are these chalkboard quotes. Probably not much of anything I'd really use, although I could cut some of these out. So who knows, we'll see. And then it was four of your choice. Since I had two wood grains, I counted one of those as my choice. Um, I am a stripeaholic. I love stripes, particularly thin ones of varying width. So this kind of stripe here speaks to me. So October afternoon, I chose it because it'll be kind of cream based. It'll go here. Clearly I would not, oh, I probably, who knows? I'm not gonna say I wouldn't, but I probably wouldn't use it with the Shimmel one. Um, it's got these great arrows on the back. I don't have much from the Girl Talk collection by October afternoon, but I thought the colors worked real well with the kind of papers I was choosing. And then, not only am I a stripesaholic, I am addicted to basic gray. I have eight of the vertical paper holders by Cropper Hopper jammed full, and I just ordered a whole bunch more paper, which I need another paper holder for already and I don't have one so I'm like I have to have some basic gray in this so I pulled some of the older stuff this the yellow I thought would work well and then again I'm comparing everything to this so it's got yellow which works well it's got bl darker blues it's got kind of a lighter darker blue if that makes sense it is distressed where the others are not but I also tend to ink a lot of my edges so I think again that would work um, but this is from their Oh Baby Boy line, which if I'm not mistaken is like 2008, if it's not on here. Um, and then the last sheet I chose, the green is kind of a mix between that aqua and that green. And then I just, I like that shade of blue. And again, it's distressed, but I think I can make it work. And we'll see. And I can always choose stuff from the middle too. Uh, but I like polka dots and I always need polka dots with stuff, uh, which is one reason why I chose that kind of dot paper for my cardstock. But this is from their Lollipop Shop collection, which came out about the same time as the Oh Baby lines did. Um, and it's not double-sided, although most of this other stuff is, unless it's from a pad. Then, Car or, excuse me, Crystal said, choose a messy element. But clearly, she's not looked at my scrapbook room. The whole room is a mess. Um, I decided to go with the uh, Heidi Swap Color Shine in Gold, which was also in my basket kit. Her suggestions were spray ink, gelatos, mixed media elements, wet embossing, etc. Um, because I had just used this for one kit, I wanted to pull another color. Um, the Tattered Angels chalkboard mist was sitting on my shelf and just staring at me. And I thought, color-wise, it, it would work with what I'm going for, especially because it's going to go on top of stuff. Um, something bulky, felt, bows, wood, foam, etc. Something bulky was hard to choose. I ended up going for these wooden tags. Um, I have a whole bunch of wood that I've gotten from various uh, kit clubs, and I don't tend to use a lot of it. I like very small pieces, like little hearts and stars and stuff that I like to sprinkle along amongst things. So I went with that, those because I, I want to use them. They're the only four I've got, so I'm like, let's, let's get it done. And then I added in some little wooden hearts from Studio Calico. So I've got some, a bulky element. Another bulky element I went for was uh, this trim from the Fifth Avenue collection of Making Memories. Oh, called Elizabeth, that's my daughter's name. Um, I went mostly for this. I like that, the texture that'll add. Um, but I think some of the other ones, the black and the black and white would work. And I think depending on the layout and how much of it is used, this would work and that would work too. Um, and to give you an idea of how old this is, it's from 2007. So I've got 10 year old ribbon that's never even been off the dang card. Like, come on, pull it together, Amy. Um, one more piece of wood green. I have also old. This is from Two Peas in a Bucket, um, which I swear I can open it. It's obviously been open. Right before they closed up shop, they started putting out their own flare and their own 
wood veneers and I saw that wood veneer and just fell in love with it and I've had it and never used it and um, dang it I'm gonna use it this month somehow so got my bulky things a handful or more of oh wait one more bulky thing also from the bash it kit I had these Heidi swap words that came in a kit and I never used them I've used three of them now. I've got two left, so I want to get this done. That was something I was very proud of in my Bash It kit. I used up, I think, three of the different items, like completely out of the packages, and I want this to be another one. So I've got the word door left, and I have the word hello left. The O popped off. So depending on the layout, I may leave the O off. We'll see. But otherwise, I can just go ahead and make that work. So that also is going to be included. I don't know if you would call these bulky, but I found a little teeny tiny pack of iridescent sequins. So those are going to go in my kit. All right, hand four more of die cuts or ephemera. I have this Simple Story Summer Vibes pack of ephemera that came with a kit of mine. It's from 2015. Um, the packs of ephemera I would get in kits is kind of set me off on wanting all these little die cut packs again. I don't know why, I don't always use them, but some of the colors in this worked real well with some of the things that I have, while a lot of the motifs won't. I have to say, I don't know if you can see that, there's a surfboard right there. I don't even know if the light's hitting it, if you can see that. I just used a surfboard in a layout of my daughter when she was under a year old because of a splash pad. It worked really well, I thought. So I figured, let's try it. Put it in there, let's see what we can use. Um, a little leather stickers. Okay, so I have trouble with directions. Tiny type, clearly little leather stickers. But the first thing I grabbed were these. I consider these to be small because they're not thickers. They also come with these little matching ones. They're daily flash from October after afternoon. I have them with the dandelion, the yellow color, and then rhubarb, which is kind of a reddish pink. I'm not sure how well that'll work. We'll see. I have other colors of these though I can pull if I want to. So I've got some letter stickers. I will definitely be adding thickers in at some point. I cannot do layouts without thickers. That's just impossible for me. Stamp set or two. Um, I am addicted to roller stamps. I have about mm, somewhere over two dozen of them right now and I'm always looking for more. I cannot wait till the Simple Story ones come out for their new lines. Um, but this one is Amy Tangerine. I don't know from what collection. But I want to, it's a new, relatively new purchase, so I wanted to use that. Um, I also have this stamp set from Citrus Twist, August 2014. It has never even been opened, so I said, hmm, need to use it. But I saw, like, some, I mean, the stars I can use for everything, but some of them, um, go outside and play. I'll take it. Let me explain. Easy peasy. Oh, the drama. Oh, oh, the drama. That would be great. We just started our middle school musical at school and I am helping the director again this year. So oh, that was, I've, I've already got ideas now. Um, things are about to get messy. Hmm. I could do a picture of my scrapbook room and just cross out the word about. So I thought I could use that. Um, and then she had two to three items of your choice. Um, I've got a ton and a half of washi tape like so many of you others. I was talking to my sister on FaceTime the other day and she saw me using it as I was working on a scrapbook page. And she's like, what is that? I've seen it, like, what do you use it for? And so I was trying to explain. I'm like, I'm never running out. And I showed her my collection. And she's like, yeah, you, you need to stop buying that. So I need to start using it. So that's one thing. Um, I also am going with Baker's Twine. I have, hold on, a gigantic jar of Baker's Twine that I bought back when Baker's Twine was the thing to have. Um, and I bought the little Jenny Bolin. Let me fix that right there before it drives me insane. I bought the little Jenny Bolin wooden spools. So I unwound it all and it all matches and looks so cute in my jar. And then I don't use it. So I'm going to use some of that. I know that would work really well, obviously, with the tags. But I think um, just as a messy design element, that would work in there. And then the last thing I chose for my items of choice um, is kind of on a whim. I have um, a magnetic board that's been on my wall since I read Duck Room over five years ago. Um, and this has been on that board probably for about that long. And it is a die cut of the word silly. I believe this is Allie Edwards handwriting, but I cut it out on my silhouette and I ran it through the Zyron sticker maker to give you an idea of how long that's been up there. That's where the magnet was. So the plastic sticker paper has changed colors. I'm like, I need to use that. I mean, I can ink this to be whatever color I want to coordinate with anything. So the white part doesn't matter if I, you know, use it on one of the cream-based pages. So that is my kit. Um, 
I love what Crystal B has put together. I think this is going to be a lot of fun to work with. I can't wait to get started. I have a feeling I'm going to be taking photographs at rehearsal on Tuesday. They were already on the stage getting ready, so I'm going to have some to use that old drama stamp. I cannot wait for that one. I've already got some ideas. Um, so, can I see what you guys choose for your kits, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day and have fun creating. Bye!